Hello, Seabird! Welcome back to Marble Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order. In the last episode, we made our way through the Dark Dimension and defeated Dormammu, and we're able to recruit quite a few people, Ghost Rider, Doctor Strange, and Elsa Bloodstone. So, lots of cool stuff going on in the last episode, and now we got a couple people to talk to before we move on out. This was all my fault. Oh, uh, well, you had to. What was? Never would have ended oh, did we already talk to her? Dimension of my magic yeah, we did. Okay, never mind. Sorry, we already talked to you. We did that in the last episode. Let's go ahead and talk to the beast guy here. What a dreadful debacle this devolved into. What happened to your cheeky outlook, beast? Oh, it still stands strong. It has merely been temporarily trumped by the megalithic magician and his flaming facade. At least we got the reality stone, right? Indeed. A fortuitous finding we could never have anticipated upon arriving in this dismal dimension. I am excited to examine it upon returning. Home? Oh, right. The X-Mansion. Calm your concerns, comrade. This Sapphire scientist has friends with formidable facilities all over our world. And on countless others. Ooh, that's good. Alrighty, well, it seems like we've completed that. We're moving out of this dimension, hopefully. You cannot! Destroy the darkness. He's right, you know. Dormammu feeds off this dimension's endless arcane energies. He can't die in this place. Oh no. But we most definitely can. And if Dormammu spills this black magic into our world, he would be unstoppable there too. Of course, without the Reality Stone, he can't merge our dimensions together. And without the darkness to fuel him, he wouldn't last long. So, if I can open a portal back to our plane of existence, perhaps we can take the stone somewhere safe. Let's go quick! He's not happy! Or at least somewhere safer than this. Watch it! Oh man. Oh, well, looks like we have escaped we the grasp of Dormammu. To escape the chaos of Earth. Our people were trapped at the heart of far too many conflicts over the centuries. Assailed from all sides by those who wish to harm or exploit us. Only by removing ourselves from their world would we ever truly hope to find peace. So, tell us, my dear sister. Medusa? Whoa. Why have you opened our doors to the same chaos we fought so hard to leave behind? No matter how we may try to cut ourselves off from our home planet, my queen, we still have friends and allies who need our help. Who are we to ignore their plight? <laughs> we are inhumans. As both humans and mutants alike have repeatedly reminded us, we stand alone. And unless your friends can convince the king otherwise... Black Bolt. So do they. Oh man, so now we're on the Tillin. I, I, I forgot this place was a thing. I, I'm not really too familiar with this part of Marvel lore, but I don't know, I guess I'm learning a lot about different Marvel heroes throughout the series, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, it looks like we're with, oh man, what's her name, Crystal, right? Something bothering you, friend? Yep, it's Crystal, so I guess she's from here. Uh, just the fact that we don't seem terribly welcome here. Don't mind my sister. She can be a bit stubborn, but Medusa's heart is always in the right place. Once she understands what's at stake, she'll come around. That's good. That's reassuring. It's the king you have to worry about. Let's just say Black Bolt gave Adelan's last uninvited guests a free tour of the moon without oxygen masks. Oh no. So, I mean, I, the only way I knew these, some of these characters is from Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1 and 2. So, it's interesting to see them again in sort of a different form that's not Lego. Uh, that's slightly less encouraging. Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? Lucky for you, he's in a good mood today. I think. He's a bit hard to read since he doesn't talk. But you'll probably be fine. I hope so. Yeah, he's the guy who, like, when he opens his mouth, like a, like, a lot of loudness comes out, and that's his superpower or something. Is there any kind of secrets around here before I, I uh, talk to these guys? It doesn't look like it. I'm gonna talk to Black Bolt first. Your Majesty, we implore you to aid us in our quest. Your Majesty? Uh, maybe I should talk to the Queen instead. 
<laughs> Alright, let's talk to Medusa. For the sake of my sister, I will hear what you have come to say. But I guarantee no more. Now speak. We need a safe place to examine the Infinity Stones, Queen Medusa. We know of these stones. And the fact that you would bring them here puts all of Adeline in jeopardy. Okay, so Adeline is how you pronounce it. Sorry. Such recklessness is typical of your kind. Uh, maybe it's time to put aside our differences and find a space between our races, your majesty. That time has long since passed. We have been hunted by humans for centuries. The scars from our war with the mutants are still fresh. The only allies we have left dwell within this city. I seem to recall our people fighting alongside each other more often than against. And with the Infinity Stones in play, we'll need every hero we can get, unless you're, you plan to hide up here forever. The Inhumans hide from no one. Our removal from Earth was a strategic maneuver for the protection of our people. It might be easier to ignore what's happening on Earth, but the Black Order is trying to gather the Infinity Stones so that Thanos can destroy it. Can you just sit on your throne and let that happen? I cannot. Adelon may be among the stars now, but Earth will always be our home. I believe my king would agree. Our cousin Gorgon will escort you to the lab. Okay, so we gotta meet up with Gorgon now, who is over this way. Oh, is he okay? Uh oh, we got a tummy ache. Find him. What happened? I don't know. Wait, are these guys fighting us? Has all of Adelon gone mad. <laughs> Maybe. Tend to inhuman royal family matters. All right, well we'll do what we can. Wow, we're beating them up pretty well so far too. This is great. I'll be playing as mostly these characters until we get like introduced to new characters. I think. Uh, that should be fine, I think. So, I mean, I've been really enjoying these guys. They're a higher level too, which is something I really need, is just like higher level fighters. So, I'm gonna keep at them. Hopefully get their levels even higher than what they are. Lots of bad guys running. We gotta defeat 22 of them. Whoa, that was good. Knocked a lot of them back. I don't believe the Ghost Rider's one of our best fighters that we have here. Level 27 for Elsa. Uh, oh, this guy's big. Got him. Okay, we haven't played Deadpool yet. Let's play as him a little bit. That was good. And he's almost down. Nice, and level 27 for Doctor Strange too. Oh, that guy, see ya. <laughs> Yikes. All right, well, they, they seem to be taken down. Deliver him to the infirmary at once. If we don't get Gorgon some help fast, he's not going to make it. All right, we gotta help out Gorgon here. Thane, Gorgon has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, your majesty. Thane. There you go, big guy. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Or uh, hooves. Some sort of amber. Intriguing. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Thane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlan, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what. But rather, who? My father. Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. Oh, For really? Reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. If you're lucky, you've never heard of him. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. Hmm, so he's Thanos' son. I didn't realize he had a son, but okay, that's cool. Look at how many people we had to talk to. There's a whole party going on. Oh, hey there. How are you doing? Because I'm currently hanging out on the moon with the inhuman royal family, and I'm totally trying not to freak out. Aren't you an inhuman too? Well, yeah, but I'm an inhuman who lives in Jersey City. 
These aren't humans who live on the moon. There's a big difference. I'm really not too sure like what the difference between the mutants from X-Men and Inhumans are. Still trying to figure that out, I guess. Do you have any relation with the royal family? Not that I know of. But I do have their poster on my bedroom wall. <laughs> She's great. Why don't you have why, why don't you move to Adelan to be with your people? Because I have school and the commute from the moon to Jersey kind of stinks. Ooh, unless they're willing to loan me lockjaw on weekdays. Ah, oh, that'd be cute. You should definitely look into that. I'll get right on it. You know, once our current universe shattering dilemma is all wrapped up. Okay, well she's great. Let's talk to Crystal a little bit. Sorry about all the craziness here. Family, am I right? Speaking of which, what's the deal with yours? They're a bit intense, but they mean well. Blackbolt and Medusa do whatever it takes to keep Adelan safe. Even if it means they sometimes forget about everyone else. Why did you choose a different path? I didn't really. Sure, I may be a bit more willing to reach out and help my fellow heroes, but at the end of the day, I'm still an inhuman. We'll always stand together. Except whoever's attacking the royal family, right? Yeah, well, there is that. All right, well, we got still just so many people. Black Bolt's not gonna say too much, is he? Adelon is under attack from within, your majesty. If you have any idea who could have wounded Gorgon and turned those creatures against us, now's the time to speak up. All right, the whole voice at Shatter's Mountain sing. Never mind. Oh, that seems to be, it seems like his power up is like a good thing and a really bad thing. My deepest My. apologies. Adelon was built to be a safe haven. Clearly someone thinks otherwise. They hurt Gorgon and attacked us with whatever those things were. Alpha primitives. They were a subclass of the inhuman race, performing labor and other menial tasks. So they're slaves? That is a harsh way of putting it. The alpha primitives merely do what they were designed to do. Oh, it seems like they're on strike. Any idea who might have convinced them to rise up? I have my suspicions, but I dare not believe them. Huh, all right then. Well, let's talk to Beast over this way. Actually, can we talk to this guy now? Well, do you have something to say? Oh no, I'm talking to Gamora, apparently, okay. Why didn't you tell us you had a brother? I do not. Despite popular belief, Thanos is not my true father. He slaughtered my species and took me from my home world, kicking and screaming. And then he turned you into his own personal weapon, right? As he did to all his so-called children. Myself and Nebula included. Some of his experiments were clearly more successful than others. So Thane is like you then? Handpicked to be one of Thanos' warriors? No, I've never seen him before. But I've heard whispers of one true heir. Whispers Thanos himself desperately sought to silence. If Thanos collected children, why would he want to kill his own flesh and blood? Thanos worships death. To him, creating life is not an honor. It is an insult to his very nature. Which is really silly. <laughs> Sounds like a real fun guy. You have no idea, but you will soon enough. All right, and then finally, let's actually talk to the beast guy. Salutations, my tenacious teammate. He's quickly becoming one of my favorites to talk to. You seem to have developed a quite an interest in Thane, Beast. Why? Merely a hypothesis, but having the progeny of our nemesis as an ally could prove advantageous. Do you think that the, the amber he generates could come in handy too? Indeed. In fact, it might become more beneficial in our quest than you can currently comprehend. Of course, I will need to run an in-depth analysis. There's no way we can get back to your lab at the X-Mansion. Fear not. I once collaborated with the Inhumans to evaluate the effects of their Terrigen Mist on my fellow mutants. Much of my equipment is still here in Atalan. Should we leave it to your work? Performing scientific studies on the moon isn't work. It's my furry blue dream come true. Ah, well have fun. It doesn't look like there's anybody else. I could heal up and tend to some stuff now, might as well. So we haven't done anything in this uh, menu at all in today's episode, so let's go ahead and do the lab. I don't know how much I really have for the Alliance Enhancement, but I'll just sort of do what I can, and then we'll focus whatever we have left on the ISO 8 management. So I still wanna continue filling this out. Uh, this one, oh man, the problem is that the enhancement points are so expensive at this point. Like the ones up here are a little cheaper, like sometimes in some places. I think I'm just gonna hold off then. There really isn't too much more I can do. I can do some ISO 8 management. I don't know if there's too much I really, We'd want to do. 
Man, it gets really expensive. <laughs> I'll do like plus one on this, I guess. Uh, 550, I don't know why it's so pricey, but it is, that's just how it is. Let's also just go to our team and see if we have any other upgrades we can manage. I would think we would, but let's start with a Ghost Rider over this way. He Does he have any things we can upgrade? Actually, doesn't look like it. Um. Okay, looks like with a Deadpool, we got one thing we can upgrade. Over here with a, oh, so we definitely have something. I can get that. Okay, and then Doctor Strange, not quite yet. We're getting there though. We're definitely getting there with more upgrades for all of our fighters, all of our characters. Let's go ahead and talk to Thane. How can I help you? Is your father really Thanos? So I'm told. I've never actually met him, and I can't say I'm too upset about that fact, seeing that he tried to have me killed as soon as he found out about me. So you're an alien like him or an inhuman? A bit of both. My mother was an inhuman from the lost city of Orolan. After the Black Order decimated our colony to get to me, I had no choice but to flee here. I mean, it's weird to say he's an alien because like, that's such a perspective-based word. I mean, anybody from one planet is gonna be an alien to another person from another planet. Do you know anything about the Infinity Stones? Only legends, and none of them end well. If my father wants them so badly, though, I've got to believe some of them are true. Legends can always be rewritten. Let's hope so. Until then, I have a patient to tend to. Indeed you do. All right, what's going on next? Guess we're about to find out. Where am I? Somewhere safe. I'll try to rest and- No. Nowhere in Atalan is safe. I remember now. He's lost his twisted mind, again. Oh, come now, cousin. <laughs> Whoa, who is, is this? Is that any way to talk about the new king of the Inhumans? <laughs> Maximus. Brilliant, but crazy, apparently. Okay, are we fighting this guy? Oh, Not quite, we're just fighting his friends. Gorgon from further damage. You focus on the Alpha Primitives. I should have known you were behind this, Maximus. Only you would dare betray our people. I am nothing if not predictable. Isn't that right, brother? So I guess he's Black Bolt's brother. As always. But I'll give you something to talk about. Just you. Alright, well, we'll see exactly what that is soon enough. Right now, we gotta do lots of team moves. There's tons of people around here to beat up. We're already at 14 out of 27, so. A little bit more past halfway through then. Oh, and there goes more of them. Okay, we're doing pretty good. So I don't know if we're over leveled for this area, what's going on. I actually have not checked to see if the difficulty has changed back or not. Ow, oh boy. I'll have to check that actually. Maybe I should check that now, system. I don't know if actually I can change that from here. Uh, Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think that the difficulty came back up, but I don't know, because I know it like it lowered for that one fight. Who knows, who knows? I'm still having fun no matter what. That's really all I care about. Let's beat this guy up. He's almost done, he's almost done. We do have our super team moves, but with only three guys left, our EX moves, um, I don't really want to focus on it too much. There it is. Okay, moving over to Doctor Strange. What is going on? There we go. Oh, we got a, a B purple ISO 8. Okay, well, all those guys are done. Now it's just you. You may have power, but you lack imagination. It is time that someone with true vision took the throne. Is that you? I guess he's just walking away. Okay, return to the throne room. Can I just go this way and fight all those guys? I guess so. Closest thing to a family I have now. I'm not a fighter, but I guess this is my battle now. I guess so. I'm gonna try to crowd up as many of these guys as possible. Tried to claim the throne from his brother. Not even close. 
The guy's a brilliant inventor, but he's never been quite right in the head. Still, mad or not, he is family. We refuse to give up on him. Even if he refuses to change his ways. All right, well, whoa, 139,000 damage just from Doctor Strange. That was really good. See, it really works well when they're all grouped up. It just, they're not always, always all grouped up like that. You ain't seen nothing yet. So let's try a Deadpool a little bit. What number is he gonna pull off here? Not as much, but still pretty massive, 107,000. Uh, and then I don't feel like there's enough to do the team moves or the, or the EX moves. I don't, I don't always want to call them team moves because usually you're supposed to team them up, but you don't always have to. I thought there was gonna be a combo. There we go. And what's going on over this way? Come on, got him. So far, not too bad. We haven't found too many secrets yet, though. We haven't found any uh, secret chests. Maybe there's some around here. Definitely nothing over this way. And what about over here? Nothing, okay. Just random empty space. Oh, here he is. Let's beat him up. I'm ready for you. Maybe, yep. Whoa, that's a weird weapon. Stop Maximus from claiming Attilan's throne. All right. Oh gosh. But I know exactly what I'm doing, and I relish every twisted moment. If you say so. We can help you if you let us. By locking me away in a palace cell again? I think not. I mean, you seem to be doing some pretty evil stuff, so. Oh man, <laughs> Doctor Strange is missing all of his moves over there. Almost got him stunned, so he's trying to work on that. Switch over to Doctor Strange, maybe. Do a cool combo move. Wow, that was good. Blood over and over grows tiresome. This should be an interesting change of pace. Oh man. attempts to resist are almost adorable. Okay, there's lots of stuff going all over the place. This guy doesn't seem to be as tough as the Doctor Strange fight, though, luckily. Is this working? I can't even tell. There we go. Uh, we seem to be doing all right. Let's get this guy, maybe. I mean, some of, some of our character's health is getting a little bit lower, so this could really start picking up soon. I need to grab some of this health that's chilling out over here. I think Deadpool is paralyzed, that's not good. Speaking of which, we can switch over to him maybe a little bit and fight off these guys. Wow, that's a lot of them. And they're like all protected. That's weird. I don't know, maybe we should ignore them? Whoa, 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 that was great. Let's do more of that. Okay, well that missed him entirely. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna switch to Ghost Rider. It's just like as soon as we get him, or as soon as we get all these drones done, he just uh, spawns more in, which is a little annoying. Come on, get back over here. We're going down, Maximus. We have this whole uh, area that Adelan is really fun and cool so far. I, I've not really known too much about this. So, it just, it's cool to see. Okay, I hope this actually hits him. Of course it doesn't, because I'm a dingus. Okay, I got him at least a little bit. Deadpool, Deadpool, you gotta help. Please help. Oh, of course. He moves at the last second. That's so frustrating. Like, come on. All right. You. Actually hit him, please. That's the wrong way. Just like, I'm just getting such bad luck with it, because the moment I use it, he like moves. There we go. Come on, you can do it. I mean, yours doesn't do much damage, unfortunately. I mean, I guess it does a little bit. Come on, okay, almost done. Almost done with your, your next phase. Okay, that wasn't too bad. There still has to be more. There we go. He's not happy. <laughs> He's getting really mad. Your time on the throne is Whoa. Where even am I? I can generate enough amber to protect you. Stay close to me. Okay, so it looks like Thane can protect us with his amber. Gotta keep that in mind. We gotta get rid of some of these guys. There's just too many of them. That's it, Ghost Rider. You know what you're doing. And just more show up. It just never ends. Come on, we gotta get this guy. Where's Ghost Rider? I wanna play more of him. Cause he has a really powerful light attack. I don't know what it is, but it just it really hurts. His special moves aren't too crazy though. From what I've seen. Yeah, I don't know. Um, whoa. Watch it. Ow! Oh, oh man. Ow. Watch it, watch it. Come on, his shield is almost down. We are also starting to get really low on health. Come on, guys, get over this way. Uh, he doesn't stay stunned for very long. 
But if we just keep attacking, we can break down that shield again really fast. Maybe that's something I should just focus on then. Come on, there we go, he's stunned properly this time. Doctor Strange actually landed, please. That's it, sort of. Uh, sort of, kind of. Yeah, not really. Oh man. That's it, that's it. Oh, he's getting so low on health now. I need to pick up some health myself. Whoa, okay. Where is he? He's over there. You're going down, don't move. That's it, sort of. And then Ghost Rider, get him. Oh man, I was supposed to be in the in the shielding there. I don't care. Oh, come on, we are so close to getting him. So, ow, close. I'm grabbing this. Oh, that filled me up to full. That's good. Oh my gosh, stop Maximus from claiming the throne. We did it, level up for uh, Elsa there. Curse you. Is it clear now who wears the crown? Us, I guess, because we won. Well, that was really cool. Oh, and we got lots more people to talk to. Is that gonna be the end of the chapter, though? I don't know. Huh. So yeah, I guess this is the end of the chapter. We'll go ahead and talk to everybody else besides Thane, so we can finish things up, and then we'll be good to move to whatever's next uh, in the next episode. So let's talk to Captain America. I think I've got a lead on the final Infinity Stone. Ooh, really? The Soul Stone, where is it? In safe hands, at least for the moment. Could you be a bit more specific with than that? I just picked up a transmission on the Avengers' priority frequency. Apparently, Modok recovered the Soul Stone while we were off-world. Oh, really? Cool. Uh, those hands don't sound very safe at all. I don't know who Modok is. <laughs> You're right. Fortunately, the Winter Soldier was on an undercover mission deep within the ranks of AIM. He secured the stone and is heading off the grid. Okay, that's really good. Uh, can we get to him before Black Order does? I think so. As long as Lockjaw is ready for a nice long walk. Oh man. Alrighty, so who else we got? We got a uh, beast over this way. Fascinated to find out what I've formulated, friend? Absolutely. Have you really figured out how to neutralize the stones, beast? I scrutinized a sample of the amber that Thane generated to seal Gorgon's wounds earlier. Not only is it seemingly impenetrable once it encases an object, it also suspends the very laws of physics themselves. I'm not sure I follow. Anything trapped inside essentially becomes frozen in time. Not just the artifact itself, mind you, but any energy it generates, no matter how formidable. Are you saying it could shield the Infinity Stones from the Black Order's detection? Precisely. If Thane could help to entrap the final stone as well, we might yet keep them away from his dearest daddy. At least until we can devise a more permanent solution. Do you think Thane will be willing to join us? After the excruciating events we've just endured, how could he possibly resist? Alrighty, well, we'll find out in just a moment. Before we do that, we're gonna talk to Medusa and Black Bolt. The kingdom of Adelon is in your debt, but Maximus was our problem to deal with, not yours. You don't think we'd just sit back and let Maximus take the throne, do you? I suppose not. Yet we were less than hospitable upon your arrival. You owed us nothing. When people are in trouble, no matter who they are, we step up to help. That's what heroes do. Truth told, we inhumans never ask to be heroes. When we fight, it is for the safety of our people and nothing more. And until the stones are located and contained, your people will never truly be safe. None of us will. All right, what's going on over this way? Sorry about your brother, your highness. Do you think you'll be all right? Yeah, I guess we knew the answer to that already. <laughs> All right, see, I wish we could, well, hopefully he's an unlockable character at some point, that'd be fun. Uh, well, we got these two to talk to. Dear Mrs. Wilson, please excuse Kamala from her AP English homework. She was busy stopping a mad king from overthrowing a moon city. Think that'll get you off the hook? No, but I'm starting to learn that there are more important things in life than perfect grades. You're absolutely right. If the Black Order wins, who's going to care about your quiz score? Oh, Oh no, <laughs> only her parents, apparently. Before you say anything, just a quick reminder. Maximus is only related to me through marriage. Either way, that was some serious family drama. Now you know why I was back on Earth with you guys when all of this went down. 
As nice as the view is up here, we need to head back to the to Earth if we want to recover the last stone. I can't speak for the rest of my family, but I'll be with you until the end. Well, thank you very much. All right, and then we got uh, you over here, G Gamora. Looks looks like Thane is one of the good guys after all. Yes, he has proven himself, at least for now. Yes. After what he just did, you still have doubts? If Thanos' blood truly runs through his veins, we would be wise to keep a close eye on him. Not really a trusting type, are you? No. And that may be one of the few reasons I'm still alive. All right, then. Uh, so... Yeah, let's finish it off with that then. It looks like we talked to everybody. So next episode, who knows where we're going next? We're gonna be inviting Thane to join the quest and we'll see what happens after that. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. Before you go, be sure to comment Maximus Zebra so any of you've watched at the end of the year, a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.